Hello everyone and welcome to the Florida Horn. So I have been meaning to do this for ages. We got back from our trip in November and it is now February. <laughs> But that's okay, it's better late than never and I've got all my receipts and this is quite embarrassing but I've actually just opened my cabin case from the trip in November because I knew that I'd put in all the stuff to do the haul into that case and I've found things that I actually forgot I even bought and some of them were Christmas related so I've missed the boat on that one. But never mind, here we are. If you don't know me, hello, I'm Gemma and thank you so much for being here today. So this is gonna be the haul from the Walt Disney World trip in November that I went to with my best friend um, and all of those vlogs are already on the channel. So if you haven't seen them already, then make sure you check those out. If you wanna see pictures from the trip, then head over to my Instagram, which I'll put here. Um, to see what we wore, what we did, everything that went on. And we are also going to Disneyland Paris, as I'm filming this, it's next week, um, with another friend as well. So definitely hit subscribe because there is so much more to come. Um, so yeah, stick around. So I'm gonna show you everything I bought in Universal, everything I bought in Walt Disney World. It's not loads, by the way. I was actually really restrained. And I think that's because I'd taken too much stuff. So I had like no space in my suitcase whatsoever. <laughs> So that dictated how much I bought really. So yeah, I'll show you everything. And there's also some bits that like I didn't buy, but got along the way. And I will try and tell you how much everything is. I'm hoping that the things I've bought relate to these receipts. So we'll see. So let's start with Universal. So what did we get? So we went in November and we attended the Halloween Horror Nights, which was amazing. Um, so I got something to do with that. So the date that we went to Horror Nights, it closed the day after. So all of the like merch and stuff went on sale. So I got this t-shirt, never go alone with the little cat. And I just liked the, like, this one is really soft. Like some of them had huge prints on the front and you know when a print can feel like ironed on, like really plasticky, um, I really don't like that. So, but this one doesn't, this one's really soft. Um, and it's got this on the back. So it just says Halloween Horror Nights 2023. Um, yeah, and I just really liked the shape of it. I've actually never worn it. Hang on, my lunch is ready. <laughs> if anyone cares, I had a fishless finger sandwich. <laughs> anyway, back to the t-shirt. So this was supposed to be $37, but everything was 70% off when we went. So I'm gonna try and find the receipt, but I think it was $8.99 from memory. And we know that um, the Hollywood event, Horror Nights, they ended up doing, I don't have the receipt. All these receipts and it's not there. They ended up doing 90% off. And I think those t-shirts were like literally about 3.99, but we were there for the two weeks, like, well, the 10 days after Horror Nights closed and it was definitely only 70% off. So that seems to be the best deal. So if you wanna get merch at a good price, then the end, of Horror Nights is definitely when to go. I'm sure this was 8 99 which felt like a huge bargain. And then I saw this bag, which was like a tote bag. So it just has Universal Horror Nights on the front and then See You in the Fog on the back. And I mean, I haven't used it, but I will. Um, and it's just like a, like a big shopping bag, but it, it's huge. And this was supposed to be, six dollars and then it had a sale sticker on that said 3.99 but then it was 70 percent off on top of that so this was literally like one dollar seventy or something like that it was ridiculous it was it was less than like ten dollars for them both i'm sure it was so cheap so those are the two bits that i got for horror nights and i definitely wanted to get something because that was the first time that we had ever been hopefully not the last though because we loved it so that's what I got from Horror Nights. Then we were looking in the shop in our hotel. We stayed at Endless Summer Dockside, which we also loved. And I saw this cap and obviously bought it. <laughs> and I just couldn't help myself. I already had a hat with me, um, but it's beige and black and universal. So how could you not? And that I know was $25. And I wore this on the trip, um, but I did keep the tag to show you that it was 25. Um, and yeah, it's, I mean, I loved it. I don't think I, I look like such a tourist now. <laughs> I probably wouldn't wear it here um, at home, to be honest. But yeah, I did wear it on the trip and I loved it. So that was another thing that I got from Universal. 
And then, because it was like Christmassy season, I really wanted to get a Christmas decoration that I'm hoping is this wrapped up in here. I haven't seen it for a while and I forgot to hang it on the tree because I'd forgotten that I got it. Um, but never mind. So I got the Hogwarts one. And it's like Christmassy. So that's the thing with some of the Christmas decorations. I think I said this in the vlog. Um, I don't like when they're just an ornament that have nothing to do with Christmas. So like a Spider-Man one. Like if the Spider-Man's wrapped in Christmas lights, then yeah, that's fine. But just the normal ones, I just, I'm, I don't know. I just don't like them. But this one I loved and this was $19. So it's quite expensive for Christmas decoration. But from our room, you'll see in the vlogs, we could see Hogwarts. And that first morning when we woke up and realized we could see it, we were like going insane. So that feels like a really nice, like kind of memory attached to that one. So that was the Christmas decoration I got. That was actually everything I think that I bought in Universal. The only other thing I kept was our room card, <laughs> just because they had a little picture on. So this is the Transformers image. And we had another one that I can't actually remember what was on it, but I was using the other one and my friend Becky was using this one, but they do have our names on. So at the end of the trip, we like swapped back to keep the one with our own name on. <laughs> I also just remembered something else that I bought in Universal from Hard Rock Cafe. And again, this was a gift, so it's gone, but I'm, I'm sure I did a little clip of this. So if I did, I'll put that in. Um, and it was just some guitar picks and they were $10. There was nothing else in Hard Rock. I do actually usually like the um, Hard Rock merch, but there wasn't a lot this time. So that was all I got. And those are the only things I got from Universal. Moving on to Disney. And again, this looks like quite a big bag, but um, I was very restrained because I didn't have the space. So first of all, I bought this bag. <laughs> um, and this was when I bought something, this was like $2 or $3 or something at the till. Um, so rather than getting like a plastic bag, I thought I would get this one and then I could use it for other things. So the best thing that I think I bought, or rather the thing that I've like used the most and just like fell in love with straight away was this jumper, which I think I did also show in the vlog. And yes, it is creased because I've just got it out of the wash. But this, it's just a like Disney World kind of logo on the front. And then on the back, it's like Spirit Jersey-esque that it's got Walt Disney World along the top and then a picture of the castle. And I think I just love the color of it more than anything. And this was from the um, huge gift shop in Animal Kingdom. And that shop seemed to have like loads of things that we hadn't seen anywhere else. Yeah, definitely check out that shop if you're in Animal Kingdom because they just seem to have, yeah, different stuff. This was quite expensive. I'm just gonna try and find the receipt, but I think it was like $60. Um, let's see. Oh, the park, the shopper bag was $1.99. No, $1.50. <laughs> That's got some bits on. So I did buy some gifts for people. And they've obviously already, they're long gone. Okay, after saying I have all of the receipts for everything, I can't find any of the receipts that relate to these items. I'm pretty sure that this was 55 or $60. It was quite expensive. And I knew at the time it was expensive, but it was this was quite late in our trip actually. And it was the only thing that I'd seen and been like, I am buying it. Like no matter what, how much it is, I am buying that jumper. Um, and I have worn it a lot and it's very fluffy inside. Yeah, I just love it. I actually, I think I actually wore it on the trip. So you've probably already seen me wearing this one, but yeah, that was the first thing. And then one of the other things that I could not leave without is this. So this is the Walt Disney World Starbucks travel drink container. What are these called? Travel mugs? I don't know. I bought one when we went to Walt Disney World the year before and it was a similar size to this and I'd never found any others that fit in my car cup holder. <laughs> so when I saw this one, and again, it's beige black, it's got gold in it, I just thought this, is so me like there was no way i wasn't gonna buy this no way and it's got such a beautiful design and it's got mickey doing his little piece oh i just love it and tower of terror there's just there's so much detailing on it um and it's just absolutely stunning so i had to buy that obviously um and this again was quite expensive and i have got the receipt for this one this was it's called a tumbler on the receipt 34.99 
obviously everything is plus tax but yeah this was 34.99 but honestly i have used this like every single day so that's been well worth it my only downside and this is gonna sound really petty is that it's like a sippy lid whereas my other one that i bought last year which was like a silver and pink one had like a more of a hole in it so i could put a straw in it because i drink tea with a straw so when i get to work i actually take the lid off <laughs> sometimes so yeah that's my only downside with that one but i do absolutely love it the next thing is a t-shirt that i kept seeing people wear and i was just like i have to have it and this isn't usually like my kind of style but so it's got walt disney world on the front with this like crazy colorful print and that's the bit that's kind of like not my style usually but i just thought i wanted it anyway um so it has got some quite cute detail on, on there actually space mountain Animal Kingdom, the partner statue, Tower of Terror. Hang on, what else do we have? Dumbo, the teacups, it's easier this way. Oh, the Yeti. See, I didn't even notice half of these things. Uh, the ferry boat, Small World, Millennium Falcon, uh, loads of Epcot references. So yeah, I absolutely love this because on the back, it's got a list. It's a bit like a tour t-shirt. So it's got a list of when all of the rides opened in all the different parks, which I just loved. And I'm hoping to like memorize some of them so that, I don't know, I can be good at a Disney quiz one day. But yeah, I just loved the back of it. I wanted to find it for ages and I'd seen the back of it, but in the shops, it was like folded so that you could see the front of it like this. And I was like, no, that's that's not the right t-shirt. Um, but then eventually realized it, well, it was the same t-shirt. So that took me a little while to find, to be honest. Um, and I think this was, I think it was 25. Why don't I have the receipts for any of these things? I've got loads of receipts, but they're all for like different stuff. <laughs> I think it was 25 99 maybe. It doesn't say. And I got a size medium. But yeah, I do really like it, but I haven't worn it yet because like I said, I've kind of forgotten about it because it's been in my cabin case for the last three months. So if you watch the vlogs, you'll see that me and Becky went to like every single jewelry stand ever in <laughs> Walt Disney World. Not looking for anything in particular, but once you've looked at things that merch, you kind of want to buy something from that bit. So I ended up actually getting a ring. Let me see if this will come up well. So it's like this link ring. And then around the front, you've got like a little diamante Mickey. I hope you can see that. And I just thought this was like quite subtle. The only problem is that I kind of got it a bit too big. <laughs> but the sizing was so hard. They had like the paper back on them. So you couldn't really try them on properly. So I think I got whatever like a medium was. And it's just a little bit too big. Like it spins around quite a lot. But that's okay. I don't mind. But it was the only one that I saw that I actually really liked. Because a lot of them were very kind of out there. Which uh, which were adorable. But I just, that's, it's just not something that I would wear. And I do have the receipt for that one. And that was 26 99 And to be fair, I've worn that quite a lot. So I'm not mad at that. The only other things I bought were gifts, I think. So I bought some chocolate coins that were 5 49 each. It says I bought two bags of those, but I only sent one off as a gift. So I must have eaten one myself. I don't know what this refers to. Mini ear headband lavender. This isn't mine. <laughs> I think this is Becky's receipt for her ears. She bought the like aerial purple ears and they say lavender, like this says lavender. So I think that was them. If you've seen them in the vlogs, they were 34.99. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a coloring book for my niece. That was 6.99 and a stitch. One of those like slap band things. That was 9.99. And I also got for her a long snake toy. If you watch the vlog where we go to the Rainforest Cafe shop, I got that uh, for her. That was about $30, I think. So those were actually the only things I bought. So I think that's pretty good. That's quite restrained. And like I said, that's because I had no space left in my suitcase and um, because I took too much stuff. So that is a huge lesson because I could have brought back so many snacks and I didn't because I couldn't. The only snacks I brought back were the, what's the word? Vanilla. I could only think of almond then. Um, vanilla scones from Starbucks because they don't do those here and they are delicious. And I actually had those for my breakfast when we flew home. 
Um, so some other bits I got. So we went to the outlets and I got my mom some jeans from Levi's, but I obviously don't have those with me, but that was that's obviously always a good shop to go in. And then I got a croc charm, croc haters look away, and it's the Barbie jacket because I was and still am obsessed with the Barbie film. So <laughs> um, I got that and I've been using that and love it. Sticking with the croc theme, I just remembered I also had something upstairs. I also got these, the Mickey Mouse Crocs. <laughs> Again, croc haters, look away. So I have got the beige normal Crocs and I wear them honestly all the time. And I knew that they did these Mickey ones, but I'd never seen them. So then when I saw them in our, in All Star Sports shop, I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna get them because you can't get them anywhere else. And I thought I would wear them all the time. Turns out I haven't worn them that much, but I have the option to wear them if I want to. <laughs> so that's my justification. But yeah, they've got the little Mickey um, like gibbet holes. I don't actually know if you can fit gibbets in here. Let's try it. Yes, you can, just to confirm. But yeah, I have not worn these quite as much. They, they feel different to the normal ones. If anyone else bought these Mickey ones, tell me if they feel different to your normal ones. They are the proper croc brand, but they don't feel as like, thick and sturdy that they feel pretty flimsy and like flat i haven't massively worn those if i'm being honest anyway that's the end of the croc talk so i'm sorry if you didn't enjoy that but um we're done now i promise we also attended the disney jollywood nights and we actually went to the opening night of that i give my review in one of the vlogs but they gave us for free well not for free included in the price these coasters as we were kind of walking out so they're the same but they just say jollywood nights 2023 and they're just like wooden coasters with kind of little feet on them that i hadn't used because i'd forgotten that they existed to be honest but they were just like a little freebie and also a wristband from that night that just says jollywood nights and they're just gonna go in like my memory box and the other things so we were very lucky to upgrade to premium economy on the way out to orlando and i kept the little salt and pepper shakers which you are allowed to do because on the bottom it says pinched from virgin atlantic if you can see that so you, you are allowed i'm I'm 99% sure you are allowed to take them. And I did. And again, I've done nothing with these. Don't know what I'm going to do with them, where I'm going to put them, if I'm ever going to use them. But I wanted them, so I brought them home. <laughs> and that is everything that I got. So not too much, to be honest. I'm, like I say, I was very restrained. And the things I did get, I feel, were like relatively expensive. So I had to be sensible at some point. If you watch the Florida vlogs, thank you so much. And if you've left a comment, if you've liked, and especially if you've subscribed, then I really, really appreciate that. I hope you guys like them. This was the first time that I'd vlogged a Walt Disney World trip. I did do like reviews of everything we did as I went along. So definitely check out the vlogs if there's something specific that you're kind of looking for. But if you've got any questions about the trip or anything that I've bought, uh, leave a comment below and I will come back to you. I filmed a Disneyland Paris trip last year and obviously there's one coming up so again make sure you subscribe in so that you don't miss those if you've liked this haul please give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to see all the future stuff and i will see you soon thanks for watching bye